Hey guys, this is uh, Robert again bringing you um, another video of just the mechanics of this uh, aircraft I've been working on. So, a uh, couple of things I made as uh, adjustments were um, making an actual anchor for this uh, rudder servo. So, before I had a zi uh, zip tie holding it together just temporarily and every time the there was torque being applied it just shifted this uh, servo motor to the side um, so what I did was I 3D printed a frame that will just hold the servo in place uh, which is also it's glued in with CA glue so it's not gonna go anywhere um, in terms of my elevator moving uh, so I had to make an adjustment with this lower um, this lower wire um, or metal wire right here because if it was like this one it would just hit the um, this box so I pulled this out just extended it out a little more and then bent it and then it goes all the way down to the rudder and you see I'm gonna manually move this as you can see it doesn't take too much to move it which is pretty nice um, it moves pre moves pretty smoothly I made this encasement here that goes over that and I could pull it off so it's not necessarily permanently fit um, just one second as I pull this off okay. so it, it's like a pop-out fit um, friction fitted piece so I have inside there's these pieces of just PLA uh, layers um, it comes out like when you're printing something big from which support system, supports um, somebody was printing out uh, something uh, at school and they were just throwing this stuff away so I ended up uh, picking it out and just uh, uh, cutting it into strips placing it inside and so now I have this like guide flexible guide that uh, keeps this uh, top section here uh, from popping off. And then this section, um, you can see here, this is where the, the rods come out. There's guiding uh, a wall with holes so they don't bend. There's also more other ones for the, the rudder that uh, I'm going to install right now the rod, metal rods for. Now if we look at the bottom of this tail, I have uh, some pieces of PLA that I also glued in for guiding the this round shaft so it doesn't want to pop up when uh, any torque is being applied for whatever reason. Um, so that's helping it now in terms of the elevator work I mean the rudder so there's that square with the four holes that's a rod that's running through my rudder and then when I take the metal rods and connect it to those four holes then I could just when I move when I connect it to two holes actually so the two rods to make it clear uh, two rods, two metal rods that are coming out of here, of these two ports, will connect to two of these holes. Now two other ones will be connected to the other holes. Those, therefore, will then be connected to my uh, wheel, my tail wheel. So whenever my rudder moves, my wheel will move. So I could taxi the plane on the ground before taking off or after landing. So... Um, so this is not glued yet, just because I have to make sure every all the wires are the length and everything is, else is checked off. Um, but other than that, I know it works because um, I tested it. 
and this is just a simple tape hinge with 45 degree angles um, this is just fitted in and then glued I had to use my a Dremel to get this uh, extra material dug out only because the the top of this part here that I designed it rubs against the top so uh, but it, it doesn't affect the the rigidity or the structure of of how much I took out it's perfectly okay um, so it, as you can see it works um, so some last minute adjustments just I made to this uh, nothing too drastic but it did take some time uh, once I put the uh, what metal ro uh, rods for the um, for the rudder um, I could finish up my wings applying the the tape hinge everything to the ailerons and this plane should be ready for a test flight so and I'll post that also after this video all right see you in the next one